Hey guys, it's Chris again here at Wahoo. Today we're gonna to be talking about using the fitness app for Android along with your kicker. Um, we're gonna start with the bike already set up and if you need any assistance with that, just reference the links in the description below uh, to reference our other setup videos. To start, check to make sure that the power brick and power cord are fully plugged in and that the green light is on. Next, check the red and blue lights on the kicker to make sure that they're on and that the kicker is ready to pair. For Android users, you will need to download the Wahoo Fitness and Wahoo Utility app. The Wahoo Utility app will be needed to stay up to date when the new firmware is released. Check to make sure that Bluetooth is on on your device. And also check to make sure that you've closed out all the other apps fully so they're not running in the background. Next, open the Wahoo Fitness app. Tap on the sensors icon at the top of the page. Wait for your kicker to appear. If it doesn't appear in this list, has it been paired, tap on the plus sign to add the new sensor. And each time you connect to your kicker, you want to make sure that you connect over Bluetooth. For some Android devices, they have the capability of connecting over BTLE and ANT Plus, but you'll want to connect to the kicker over Bluetooth each time. Also, if you're prompted to update the firmware during this process, select yes to accept and follow the steps on the Wahoo Utility app when the phone transfers you to it. It's also worth noting that only one app on a single device can pair with your kicker at a time. So if you don't see it in this list, make sure that you've closed out all the other apps and turned off any other device that's previously connected to the kicker. Select save device and add it to the indoor cycling profile, select OK. Now that the pairing is complete, navigate back to the main screen to start a workout. Make sure that you have indoor cycling selected. Tap the green play button beneath it. Tap start to begin the workout. The first page in the workout will give you some basic information, but if you swipe to the right, you'll get a more detailed analysis of the workout and eventually end up at the kicker control page. The Wahoo Fitness app has four modes for controlling the kicker. Level, resistance, ERG or ERG mode, or SIM for simulation. In the level mode, the kicker is gonna feel very similar to a fluid or wind trainer in that as you ride harder, the resistance is going to increase. In the resistance mode, this is going to feel very similar to increasing that resistance on the spin bike at the gym. As you increase the brake from 0 to 100%, the brake will stay at that resistance until you change it. In the ERG or ERG mode setting, this will set the resistance to a target wattage and keep it there regardless of cadence or speed. If the cadence decreases, the kicker will apply more brake to keep that power consistent. If the cadence increases, exerting more power, that resistance will release and keep the power at that same target wattage. In the simulation mode, you'll be able to enter the bike type, the grade, and wind speed, and the kicker will replicate outdoor riding. You'll want to make sure that you have your wheel size set correctly and that you have your weight set correctly in the settings in the app to ensure that it feels the most realistic. More info on spin downs and firmware updates are also available in the video description. Thanks again for joining us and getting your kicker paired and feel free to contact us through our support page for any additional questions.